Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brood War cast. From the ladder, we've got Snow here in the top right-hand corner versus Speed. A bit of a grudge match from ASL 17. If you guys remember, Snow absolutely dismantled this man down here. I love Speed. I think he's a fun, very fun player to watch. Cast a lot of his games on this channel. But, oh my god. God, did he get smashed in ASL by Snow? You've never seen anything like it, quite like it, in ASL before. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend going back and checking it out. It was brutal. That was in Group E, Match 1. Oof. Yikes. That was rough. But, here he is, Speed. He's back. He's on ladder. He's managed to match up with Snow. He doesn't actually know that it's Snow, probably. We're on a barcode. Snow, one of the players who rarely ever plays on a barcode. So seeing him on a barcode here, a little bit uh, surprising. However, this is an opportunity for Speed to get a little redemption here, to you know, and it actually might be good that he doesn't know that this is Snow, right? Because if he knew that this was Snow, he might be feeling the pressure uh, as a result of that uh, loss in ASL. He might be, you know, already demoralized just seeing Snow's name. But in this case, oh my god, is he going to get it? Oh, he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Oh my god, it survives. One HP on that. Wait a second. Holy. How did he even keep that alive? That is wild. Um, all right. What I was trying to say before uh, that probe just about got that kill was that uh, it might be good that he doesn't know that this is, this is Snow because, you know, he might be kind of thrown off by the fact that he's playing up against the person who kind of dismantled him. Oh my goodness. That is unfortunate. He was trying to lose the probe there. Oh, the moving shot. Can't get it. Just cannot get it. That's unfortunate. Uh, and, you know, he might be overwhelmed going up against him here. But in this case, you know, he's uh, on an, on that barcode. He knows nothing about who this player is, most likely. And can just play his game out uh, in completely typical fashion. Now, he might be starting to suspect that this is a pro gamer. Just based on the way that the guy is moving, the probes, uh, the way that they're being pulled, how often he's getting the moving shot here, and he's even going to get it on the way back. Kind of crazy. He does so much damage there. I think he's going to pick that off for sure. Zealot just kind of wanders in here. It looks like he was paying more attention to the probe, which did eventually get that kill. But the Zealot really does nothing, and the Marines are going to start to move out a little bit. Yeah, he might be starting to realize, you know, like, wow... You're really chasing my SCV. Um, this is not just a typical ladder Protoss. Uh, even in S rank, I don't think they try that hard. But Snow, he is a bit of a tryhard. He um, will absolutely chase you down with the first probe. He's super, super uh, not resilient. What, what am I saying? He's persistent. Absolutely persistent. Uh, with his early probes and trying to get damage with them. And it looks like he's no different here. Look at speed. Oh, my God. 480 APM. Damn. I mean, can you even see what you're doing at that point? I mean, 500 APM is kind of insane. It's very rare that we see someone at that high on APM. Even a Terran player. Uh, usually not that high. 350 is really all you need. That's... I. I really feel like that's like the break point for a pro gamer. 350 is like, um, anything above that is just inefficient, I feel. But, uh, I'm obviously not at 350 APM and absolutely never at 500. So I really couldn't say for sure. It just feels like a little bit too much. And all the best players in the world play at around 350. Uh, so that's where I'm I'm kind of basing my uh, my guess on. 
or what I'm basing my guess on. Looks like the SCV goes down here, Dragon. Managing to get that kill, denying scouting information in the main. It's just a robo, so Reaver will be on the way here. Two ra uh, two uh, factories here, um, as is traditional. Nothing out of the ordinary just yet. eBay going to be coming up here shortly. We're going to have mines soon. Hasn't been a ton of pressure by Snow yet, but he's going to come and start hitting this bunker. Now, the Vulture does make its way out on the map, and this could be a good situation here for speed. Oh, gosh, he's pushing out with just one tank and a bunch of Marines. He's got to be really careful with this tank. So far, so good, though. He hasn't missed any shots with that tank, and so he's able to push everything back pretty well. Pylon here is going to spot everything. He's going to try and put um, mines behind here if he can. Oh, that would be really, really strong. Oh, unfortunately, he's not going to get mines down. He loses that <clears throat> vulture without laying even a single mine. That is rough. Marines fighting here. Zealots are going to come to the forefront now. We've got mines being placed, but look at this micro from the snow. He knows exactly when to pull uh, his dragoon forward there to just eat the mine and deal the maximum damage. And he pulls this apart pretty handily. Tank goes down. Everything will have to retreat. There are some mines, though, on the other side. And you know what? He killed, like, two, three dragoons. He killed some zealots. He lost the marines, and he lost one tank. But it's not the worst thing in the world. Not the worst trade in the world here. Uh, the worst trade comes when this reaver finally gets out. Wait, wait. Are we not going reaver? Oh, interesting. We're not going to get a reaver here from snow. Now... From what I've seen out of Snow's play, his Reaver is just... I, I mean, there's no reason not to go Reaver. It feels like he always gets damaged with it. He's always slowing down the Terran. And when he doesn't go for Reaver, his... I, I swear, his uh, overall skill level just drops by a lot. I, I don't know. You guys might not like me for that comment, but I really feel like if he doesn't go Reaver... I have a lot less faith in his ability to take down a Terran player. But look at this. He does start the robotic support base, so he will get Reaver out. There we go. All right. Reaver is going to be on the way here. Yeah, there's just no reason not to do it. Every time I've seen him go no Reaverless uh, in PVT, uh, in, in KCM, every single time, it's like, why are you doing this? I don't get it. I don't understand why you would not build the, the best unit. Um, not that it's the best unit Protoss has, or even or the best unit in the game. It's just, um, truly Snow's best unit. It's his spirit animal, uh, if there ever was such a thing. And seeing him build it here, it's going to be strong no matter when he gets it. It's not like he's gone for the quickest ever Reaver. Uh, but it doesn't matter. That's still going to be an insanely good unit. <clears throat> He's gonna come out here with it Try to hold off this attack, which is coming right now. Some SCVs are being pulled tanks are being sent to the center This is perfect timing though with the Reaver here uh, And this number of Dragoons plus we've got four gateways So just the four factories here uh, It should be a good clean hold out of snow. He's just gonna back up here. Can the mines connect right now? Good pulling of the Dragoons to deal uh, as much damage with the mine drag as possible. He's still got the Reaver in there. Picking off all of these vultures. And just look at how calm and collected we see Snow um, during these attacks. He just slowly pulling back everything on hold position when it's not um, pushing forward. And so we might lose the Observer. No, just barely not. The turret gets targeted. That goes down. He's going to drag a mine. Well done. Mine gets dragged here. Uh, vultures are getting into this mineral line, so he's going to bring forward the Reaver now. Clear out some of these Vultures. Make sure that they don't deal uh, an inordinate amount of damage. Tank here. Almost in range. This is a pretty good push so far from speed. He's almost getting damage here. He's really, really close to picking off a lot of units. Oh, the mine. Mine actually connecting there on the Reaver. It does kill one of the tanks as well, but... 
Dealing the Reaver, or dealing the damage to the Reaver makes it a lot squishier right now. Can he actually get the final hit? There's only 24 HP left on that, but the tank goes down. And it looks like this push has been held. Snow going to hold this with flying colors here. And most of his probes intact as well. I mean, it was a little bit dangerous there for a moment. It was a little scary. It seemed like maybe Speed was going to be able to get a bunch of damage. He was going to be able to kill a bunch of probes. Um, but the Reaver control, as usual, on point there. Very calm, cool, and collected snow. Just backing away slowly. Falling back. Buy, buying time. Getting Reaver shots. Here comes some vultures. Trying to get a probe. They do get one, but not a great trade there. And the third base may be coming down here shortly. Because we're going to have to take this into a late game. The timing attack did not work. Plus one is just about to finish up here, so at least he didn't, you know, completely negate or completely forget about upgrades here. He has some on the way. But we don't have a star port just yet, so plus two is a long way off. He's going to have to just pump out units as much as possible right now to be able to secure this third base. And he's going to send an SCV around the map just to go and do some scouting, it seems like. Main base is pretty wide open, although two turrets here giving some protection in this area. Still, I wouldn't put it past Snow to just fly right in and go for some economic damage here in the main base. Uh, Reavers for now are just going to be utilized here to pick off tanks that are pushing forward just like that. Pretty well done there. Just getting a tank kill for free. Tanks are going to siege up in range of this. Can he actually get the kills on the Reaver? He gets one. One kill on that Reaver. Pretty big deal. Going to run forward here. Try to snipe down. Wait, wait, wait. What is he doing? I thought he was going to snipe the, the shuttle there. That was a little bit funny. Uh, shuttle not getting sniped. Is he going to get it now? Oh, so close. So close. Not quite able to get it, though. And he's going to continue this push. Well, a big flank of Dragoons is coming around the side here. It's going to be spotted now. Dragoons coming down, or going down here. The north side. But I think he's going to be able to push this, no problem. Alright, tanks are going to come back to try and assist. Dragoons just going to spread and start to take down tanks right now. Goliath's here as well. Vol uh, Zealous jumping on top of some of these tanks. One more tank does fall. Looks like speed will hold here, and he can resume this push. It's a scary push coming straight across. Uh, but with no base behind this, it's um, not as scary as it might be. Nice scan there. Not losing a tank or anything. Gonna almost get in range here. Can he get the shot off on the Reaver? There it is. The Reaver goes down. Another scan is necessary. Uh, he doesn't uh, unseize the tanks in the back, though. Loses a tank uh, at the front for that. Um, does pick off the shuttle, but a lot of zealots are going to come running up here. And I do not see vulture reinforcements just yet. A lot of these tanks are going to get picked off simply due to the splash damage. Uh, in this kind of tricky situation here. Uh, DT is doing mega work right now. Going to kill two tanks it looks like. Maybe even a third. Ah, uh, he just doesn't have any... He doesn't have scan. Oh my gosh, he does not have scan. There we go, he finally scans. He's got one more scan left over. There it is, he's gonna get it. Oh, but there's a there's an Arbiter. Oh my god, the Arbiter is gonna be so clutch right now. We just wasted our last scan, or used our last scan here, and now he can utilize the Arbiter and its cloaking field to just rip through this army. Look, nothing can fire. Everything is cloaked right now. He cannot see the army here of snow that is brutal he'll have to fall all the way back so this push has been denied the third base stands and snow takes another base in the top left hand corner vulture's gonna run around that side try to pick off the um oh my gosh he's gonna get those pylons up are you kidding me that's crazy i wasn't expecting him to actually get those and some of the more of these probes could have gotten sniped if that was the case but now they're going to be able to set up pylon walls here. 
prevent any more damage from going down. Do we have the starport? Yes. Finally, the starport is coming, but... I mean, we're only 1-1. One, one, and we're still a long ways from starting that 2-2. Two, two. Meanwhile, no upgrades here for the Protoss, but Recall is coming. Another Stargate starts as well. Is he going to go into Carrier, or is this for just more and more Arbiters here? It really does feel like just pure Arbiter play from this point, but... Um, it's not the greatest, honestly, on a map like this, where you don't have another place to put gateways. There's really nowhere else to put gateways on this map. Like, even up here is pretty, pretty bad. Like, you can only fit a few gateways, so... You really don't have another rally point. Having the recall does help to move your army out if you end up getting contained. Like, if he pushes across here, he holds this area, and he contains you... You don't have another rally point. It's really, really tough to get anything done as Protoss. I'm gonna run in here towards this top left-hand corner. Getting some probe kills is amazing, but I mean, full 60 probes is what Snow is sitting on right now. Whereas speed at 49, we're way past the 10-minute mark. Mr. 10-minute flash here, having a bit of a hard time. Sitting 80 supply down right now. 80 supply. That's such a difficult position to be in right now. And the recall could come in at any moment. We do not have EMP. We do not have any uh, vessels at this point. He's not scanning to find the army here before moving out. And so, Dragoons are going to be able to trade a tank away. Plus, flying in here now. Here comes the recall into the main base. Big recall here with a ton of units. Hitting into this main. It's going to be rough to try and clear out all of this Protoss. I think this is the, the check move here from Snow. Putting Young Speed in check. He's not quite mated as of yet, but... This is really putting him in a tough position. It's forcing his hand right now. And you never want to be forced to make any moves when it comes to fighting a Protoss. You really do want to have your options open, but there's really no option but to clear this area and try to re-max. Right, I mean, he, hasn't, he, he really has never maxed in this game, unfortunately, but um, he's going to have to try and get to that max eventually. And... Now that he's taken all this damage and he's got to rebuild a ton of supply depots and all that stuff uh, here at the back, like this is um, this is going to be a very late max, and I think we're going to run out of minerals here at the natural before that max can even happen. So EMP is going to start, vessels are going to start to be produced, but he has to hold this base. And with 118 supply, do you really think he'll be able to hold that? I certainly don't. Whoa! Zealots there. Holding hands. Going, skipping down the map. Jesus. What was that? Another recall here into the main. I didn't even see where that Arbiter came from. But it gets another recall here. And this might just be the GG maneuver here. This could be checkmate, guys. As a CC falls and the factories start to die. Things are really not looking good here for our Terran. He will clear out the army here eventually but how on earth are you gonna hold that base that mineral only there on high ground it just doesn't seem possible finally the science vessel making its way in here the arbiter will fly on out that's just insult to injury honestly when the arbiter comes in recalls the recall does huge damage and then the arbiter flies out again ah uh, it is it really is insult to injury, man. You're really not feeling good when that happens. Massive army moving through the middle of the map right now. This is so much, uh, way too much for speed to deal with, honestly. He's like moving forward right now, but I, he needs to turn around and back up here, I think. Because this, this, like he, even if he's in a perfectly siege position with 105 supply, how are we ever gonna take out this Max Protoss army? We have to have mines in front of everything with a huge open... Okay. Never mind. Recall comes into the main once again. The third recall here. Gonna be the killing blow. Speed taps out and Snow takes a moment to relish this victory. 
it wasn't as much of a bop as his game in ASL, but nonetheless, Speed unable to take his vengeance here. I'll have to wait for another day, another opportunity to match him on ladder in order to uh, take some of that sweet, sweet revenge. Snow clapping his feet excitedly. He leaves this game eager for the next opportunity to bash another Terran noob. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little cast here, and I'll see you in the next one.